my dear friends sin damages our relationship with god but hardness of heart is even more damaging because it penetrates deeper into the damage done by the sin and the one and the harder one's heart gets it becomes more permanent the damage in the above passage jesus is was angry with the pharisees scripture says jesus was angered and at the same time he was grieved with the pharisees because they were not setting a very good example they were they were only following their rites and rituals and the sabbath they had a very wrong meaning about this sabbath and jesus not only today but in these days if you have seen the readings jesus is trying to bring to the notice of each and every one that sabbath is the time where we have to put god first is a time where god uh, means we rest in god but it is not meant that like we should not do good works and jesus is trying to tell them but these pharisees are only caught up with their own uh, rites and rituals laws and customs and for them they had made their rules like for people and it had been come a burden some to the whole community and here comes jesus whom they feel is a law breaker and they want to catch him somehow but jesus we see nicely tells them that whether it is good to do it is whether it's right to do good or bad during the sabbath and they are they don't have any answer jesus is shown in the scripture as angered and grieved by and he heals the withered hand uh, person with a withered hand just to show the pharisees or to soften their hearts but he is grieved by their hardness of heart sometimes my dear brothers and sisters we also are caught up with this whenever we are in our lives also we must have been having a conflict with someone and the other person is right or the other person must have not done anything but still we have this hardness of heart so today's reading gospel reading invites each and every one of us to come and reflect on our own selves there are times we have not done this we have been very stubborn we have been very just like the pharisees who don't believe only we are right that is the attitude which we have had. and jesus is trying to uh, remind us that we sometimes will get into this kind of temptations this kind of temptations where we will be thinking that we only know everything and we whatever we do is right jesus cures the man with a withered hand so that a first change of heart of the pharisees but it doesn't work you see in the very next uh, uh, the last sentence the last verse the pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the herodians against him to put him to death they they were so much angry with jesus that they did not think jesus is trying to do good but there are these pharisees who are not even looking at what jesus is trying to do but they are like wanting to remove him out of the society remove him out of this world there are times we also have got into this kind of situation so let us reflect let us reflect on this passage it is a very nice passage for us to bring to our minds when we have uh, when we have gone astray when we have been very stubborn when we have been having this hardness of heart and let us ask god to increase our faith increase our faith in him only with god and i we can work this out this inish, uh, internal or the uh, the the illness which we have this of anger of stubbornness only god can remove this and it is it will be only when we when we spend time with god only when we are close to god in the first reading also we see david full, he gave his full trust and faith in god and he could uh, overcome or he could beat the giant philistine so my dear friends as we are reflecting on this readings today let us 
ask God to give us the grace to have more faith in Him, to deepen our faith in Him, to be more closer to Him, so that our hearts are not hardened with our own self-righteousness, but that of Jesus. Let us pray for this grace during this Eucharistic celebration.